Hello, um, my name is James Cross. I'm a creative director at BBC Creative, um, and this is my isolated talk, um, which has actually turned into an isolated walk um, because I've spent far too long today already on Zoom, and it's really sunny outside, and I live right by this quite nice park. So um, I'm out here, um, and I'm going to tell you the top five. Uh, pieces of advice I've ever been given in my advertising creative career. Um, they are the best pieces of advice I've been given and I certainly dispense um, on our teams today, our creatives today, and uh, certainly live by. So here we go. So uh, the first one um, is one um, which was quite relevant this week with uh, there was a chap in New York who was um, made redundant through this crisis. Now, obviously, that's a, an appalling thing. It's a terrible thing. Um, but that first piece of advice is never smile on a publicity photo. Um, and I'll tell you why. So, uh, publicity photos are sort of photos you get in New York in, in New York in uh, campaign. Uh, used, they used to be the sort of cliche of the three founding partners stood on the stairwell. And the reason you should never smile in these photos is because these photos are often pulled up for um, bad news. So you don't want to be sort of grinning like an idiot um, in the story that uh, says, um, you know, uh, Joe Bloggs has been uh, named creative director of this agency. Only for six months later, um, this agency makes 100 people redundant and it's got your sort of girling face um, at the other end. So you don't want to do that. But... Um, yeah, this guy in New York had this kind of sort of arty, tortured, um, creative uh, photo, um, which, although his uh, story is um, sad and, you know, I really feel for the guy, did make me laugh a little bit. Um, if I can work it out, I will edit that into this video here. There you go. Um... Okay, so the second, a second piece of advice um, I've been given, which I carry with me, um, is work hard and be nice to people, and that's, that's perhaps a bit more of a cliche, um, you know, but it's, it, it's so true, I think, I would certainly say uh, Tim and I owe much of our career to um, very early on at least trying a lot harder than the creative teams that are around us um, and yes that was putting in the longer hours which isn't always cool but it was always pushing ourselves to, to be slightly better so could we come up with a better idea uh, could we come up with um, you know even greater craft in our execution what could we do uh, to stand out um, and then sort of be nice to people to go with that again I'd say uh, you know, I'd like to think that um, a lot of our success is down to just being nice to work with. Um, you know, not being a dick, certainly not being um, what Campaign wrote about a few weeks ago, which was uh, the creative rock star. Um, you know, that's a sort of a very old uh, cliche um, in a creative department that you don't see anymore. But, you know, if you're a nice person, then I would certainly say from experience, more opportunities come your way and if you've got talent to go with it then you know the the, <coughs> the world is your oyster from that point of view um <clears throat> one of my favorite bits of advice is that uh tim and i often give to uh younger creatives who are moaning about maybe a project they're working on being i don't know really bloody boring or you know unfulfilling or has gone way off the rails because some sort of crazy bit of feedback from someone somewhere um, is if you've got to eat shit don't chew don't chew the amount of people that um, in this industry that sort of bemoan uh, a piece of work or you know a project they're working on which you know is, from a creative point of view leaves them there's not a lot in it for them um, obviously do do your work as professionally and everything as you can but uh, you know if it's not an opportunity for you your agency 
or even your client um, to become a bit more famous, um, then just get on with it. Just crack on because as soon as you do finish it, um, you're a step closer to the good brief. You free yourself up to work on the good stuff. Um, yeah, very simple that one. Um, what haven't we done here? Um, bit of that, again, kind of cliche, but I think a piece of advice which I never really quite believed, I suppose, until I'd experienced both 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 sides of it, um, and that is don't chase the money. Um, I think I've only I've only ever moved for the money once in my career, and it was actually my my second job. Um, it was in London, um, and it was to work on uh, Coca Cola and eBay and Peugeot, um, but in uh, sales promotion rather than advertising. Um, and if those of you that are unfamiliar with sales promotion, um, it's uh, and not to be disparaging to anyone who does work in the, the sales promotion world, but it's uh, generally um, you know shelf wobblers and point of sale and all that sort of thing. And as a young creative, I probably didn't quite understand that enough. Um, so I've moved for the money. Was very happy with my my um, new salary. Um, and then I was given a brief um, for Coca Cola very excited going to this briefing um, in which I was asked to supply headlines for a buy one get one free promotion um, for coke and obviously I don't think anyone has quite found a, a better way of saying buy one get one free than to write buy one get one free uh, that was probably the first thing I wrote down um, and the second thing I wrote down was to the headhunter who'd put me in this gloriously paid position uh, which I was realising why why it was so well paid um, and I soon left that job um, for a pay cut um, which turned out to be one of the best things I ever did and then put that into practice I guess when uh, we moved to the BBC BBC obviously aren't going to be the, the greatest payers in the world you know that's not to bemoan my salary um, but you know we could have stayed um, at our previous agency for uh, quite a bit more um, but then that would uh, would have been a huge mistake given the sort of creative opportunities um, that would come our way at the BBC um, and you know I would, I would never swap uh, those opportunities for, for the salary, salary at the other agency at all um, so yeah I've actually uh, practiced what I preach uh, which is great um, but yeah, the amount of people you see sort of working at decent little agencies and being frustrated, especially at the younger end of their career, and then you know ending up in some big network agency in I don't know Dubai or something, you've got to you've got to do some serious soul searching. I think um, you know when this is all over, and, and I'm talking about our careers rather than uh, the COVID. Um, you know, it's that body of work that, you know, you, your career's work, you want to look back on that with some pride and, um, yeah, so opportunity beats money, uh, don't chase the money. Um, uh, and then a uh, piece of advice that, uh, uh, one of my favourite CDs uh, that I worked under, Vince McSweeney, uh, gave me um, and lives by he demands this of all his creatives is that he only wants work that he's uh, he's never seen it that way before um, and that's a good way of uh, making sure you're original knowing your reference points of what's going on in the sector or the industry that you know your client is in um, you know always 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 coming up with something new or as new and interesting as you can and to do something new doesn't mean you know it has to be absolutely groundbreaking but to take a technique and an idea that's unique um, to the industry or sector you're working in um, gives you something new gives you something fresh um, and you know often if your idea isn't groundbreaking then um, you know your craft certainly can be, your execution, the, 
execution certainly should be. Um, and you see it all the time where you just think, okay, the idea is a bit cliche, but you know, uh, as an execution, you can certainly push that on. Um, I certainly don't think uh, the uh, World Cup 2018 ad we did the tapestry for the BBC um, was the most original idea of all time, um, but it was certainly an original execution. Um, and you know, if you can you can do that, then you, you'll go far. Um, another example I saw recently an open university ad where the idea is quite cliched and quite done to death, I guess, really, in this industry. I know Tim and I have certainly done this ad before. Um, and it's kind of that sort of, that it started with a visit to the open university and then the whole film is run in reverse. Um, yeah, kind of done to death a little bit. And it was literally, they filmed very, very nicely shot as well this ad but then just run it in reverse which you know it's like if you're on top of your references you'd, you'd know that's been done a number of times um, but you know look at what the things they could have done differently with that whole idea of it all starts with a trip to the open university um, possibilities are endless you know it could have been a, a, a starting off as the, the fruit of the, your father's loins in the 80s or whatever or you know it could be animated could be anything um so yeah so that's my um they're my top five tips um hope you enjoyed watching um cheers